I was a 14, 15, 16 year old girl and there was a grown man in the basement and I had no idea. When I was 14, I got a summer babysitting job for a boy who was only about three years younger than me, but he was kind of feral. So his parents weren't comfortable letting him stay home by himself. It was a really easy babysitting job. Really the worst part of it was just the boy wanted to be a rapper when he grew up and he was always making me listen to him rap Eminem songs. So I'd been there for about three weeks and one day out of nowhere, the bathroom mirror fell off the wall. So I cleaned up all the broken glass and I told the dad about it when he got home and you know, that was that. Sometimes these things just happen. But the next day I got there and there's already a replacement mirror on the wall and the mom says, hey Kate, I heard you met our ghost. And I'm like, what? And she goes on to tell me that the reason there's already a replacement is because they buy them in bulk at Lowe's because this happens like three to four times a year. Um, they have a ghost. They're not scared of it. It just is what it is. So I'm super skeptical. I'm like, these fools are just really bad at hanging mirrors. But over time I realized that weird things really do happen in this house. Like um, sometimes I would go in the kitchen and I'd leave and come back in just a second and the cabinets would all be open or they had a DVD rack in the living room. And sometimes just like one single DVD would come flying out of it. So I worked for them for three summers and it's now the end of August. I'm 16 now, he's 13. This is our last summer together because he's gonna stay home by himself the following year. Um, so we're, it's just really our last couple days together. So I'm in the living room, he's in his bedroom playing Nintendo 64, when suddenly I hear the sound of someone coming up the basement stairs. And I freak out because like the dad never came in the back door, he always came in the front door. So I knew it wasn't him. So I paused for a second to make sure like that was really what I'm hearing, but no, like there's definitely someone on the basement stairs. So I hear the sound of the kitchen door opening into the basement, the kitchen door to the basement opening, and I hear a man cough. So like, there's definitely somebody in the house. So I run down the hall and I grab the boy out of his room and I like drag him down the hallway. And I have like him in one hand and my Nokia brick phone in the other. And as I'm passing the kitchen on my way out, out of the corner of my eye, I see that there's definitely someone in the kitchen. He is like a big man with a ponytail and a beard. So I get all the way out of the house to the sidewalk and I'm about to call the police, but I pause for a second to tell the boy what what's going on. I'm like, hey, like somebody broke into the house and calling the police. So I'm about to call 911 and the boy snatches my phone out of my hand and he starts laughing and he's like, that's, that's not, no one broke in, Kate. Like, that's just my brother, Ronnie. And I'm like, what? So he runs back into the house. I follow him. He goes into the kitchen and greets this man. And he's like, Ronnie, Kate thought you were a murderer. And, and the man just like smirks with a bowl of cereal in his hand and returns to the basement. I had worked for this family for three years and I never once heard a single person ever mention this, this child had a brother, let alone a much older brother. The worst part is I come to find out that he has lived in the basement for years. And apparently he was in the basement every single day for the entire three years that I babysat for this family. I was a 14, 15, 16 year old girl and there was a grown man in the basement and I had no idea. So which is worse, the ghost or the Ronnie? That just took a massive U turn. <laughs> I think when I was like, oh my god, actually seeing ghosts. Like the ghost is like open cupboards, DVDs are flying everywhere, smashed mirror, but there's just a man chilling in the basement. That is such a good question because I literally don't know. That's just really weird. God, that is so strange. I was thinking, oh my god, this poor girl, like, she's literally see a ghost. So they hired a babysitter who's 16 years old and fully knowing that there's a brother downstairs. Like, why would the family not mention that to her? Like, she could have literally hit him, like, with a baseball bat or got a knife out or done something. Like, do you know what I mean? Oh my Christ. <laughs> That was such a hefty story. At first, I couldn't understand like, what she was saying. Then I picked up on it. Then I was like, oh my god, a ghost, a ghost. And then now, it was like some random man just chilling in the basement the whole time. It was, it was the brother. That was really, that was really odd. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that story.